Hey guys, this is Pablo with BND Gaming, and today we're going to be talking about a game that I've been having a love and hate relationship since 2006. After years playing Star Wars Galaxies and Anarchy Online, I went to the internet to find my next game, and then I saw it. Now it's 2019 and how's the game right now? So as of today you can pick between three classes that defines your alignment. You have the Azura, you can pick three different first jobs, Strider, Dark Magician, Sorcerer. Each one of those lines represent what's gonna be your future. Strider is a warrior class, Dark Magician is your mage class and Sorcerer is your pet class. The same thing goes for the Gaia, you have Rogue, Fighter, what is your warrior class? Kahuna, what is a hybrid between a warrior and a mage? And have Spellsinger, also your pet class. On Deva, what is the light side? You have the Holy Warrior, you have the Cleric, what gonna be your healer, and you have a Breeder, also your pet class. Now you may ask, how active is the game now? Well, the developers have since its launch added a huge amount of epics. Epics on Rapelzi are like your expansions, but right now it's on 9.6. To be honest, I tried to look up, I can't even tell how many epics existed on Rapelzi. It's just a lot. So now you may ask, how good is that game in 2019? Well, since the last epic, they added a lot of new customization what before you could only actually get it if you bought in the store. What in my opinion have been really great for the game. Now since the game really does not start until after you reach Master Class, which is level 150-ish, the developers have added a lot of freebies, things that you usually would only be able to get if you bought in the store, to be able to help players, new players, to actually achieve that level and be able to play all the new stuff that is in the game. You see, the epics, what they do is they do not seem to add new stuff for the lower levels. What they do is they usually raise the level cap and they add new content. So the downside on that is you may not be able to actually find many people to team up with until you actually reach master class or when you're in your master class quest. But with all the new stuff that the developers give to brand new characters, you really don't need to. And I also am working on a video that I should be up tomorrow that actually gonna show how for you to actually get to level 150 master class in just a few hours without spending any money. So as I mentioned, you're probably asking yourself, is this game pay to win? Well, it can be. The I think the one of the things I love about Rappels is you don't actually have to pay to win. Almost everything that you can buy in the store, you can also buy in the market from other players. So what it really comes down to is how much work are you planning to put in the game. So as for example, you can buy what they call e-protect. 
that allows you to not break your weapon when you're trying to enchant it. Well, you can go to the store and buy hundreds of it and be able to create a plus 20 enchanted weapon. Or you can try and fail multiple times until you're able to get it right. Now, it does involve a lot of time. You're actually able to sell some of those plus 20 weapons even if they don't have good stats for other players to use as food so they can get plus 21, plus 22 weapons. And that pretty much drives the economy of the game. So if you actually make the rupees, what is the money in the game, you can actually get stuff from the store, from other players that spend webs and coins, or meaning actual money, and buy from them. So you really don't have to pay to win. Like I said, you can get to level 150, 160 without spending a penny. After that, you really got into debate how much your time is worth for you. Now, when we look at the graphics, well, we have to keep in mind, this game came out in 2006. For a 2006 game, it aged fairly well. Graphics seem to get better as you level, and that has more to do with when they create a new epic, like I said, it's aimed to higher level players, therefore the dungeon's gonna look better, everything gonna look better on those, and they don't really make much changes to the low level dungeons. As player base goes, uh, it's a little weird. At times, if they have no events going on, and I'll be honest, they have events every month, sometimes multiple times a month, and sometimes they last more than two weeks even. You will see a big rise on population of the game. Uh, during the time that you have no events, you're probably gonna see the population re-lowering. So it's always good to keep up on the forums. Uh, the developers are very open in what they do in the game, any change they do in the game, and events coming up, so you pretty much know what is gonna be coming. One of the issues the game has been having is character balancing. So, not really long ago, the Slayer class was way too OP. I had been playing Slayer since the game actually started. So, when the Slayer class became too OP, it got a lot of hate from other players. And right now, it's actually the Mercenary class that is way too OP. And, like I said, working on my last video, I just got to Master Class and the moment it was announced to the server that that was another merc, people just gave a lot of hate. Uh, the only thing I don't understand is the same people giving hate are people playing with mercenaries, so... You know what, if you think it's wrong for people playing with mercenaries for being too OP, you shouldn't be playing as well. But yeah, you're gonna see that in the game. But in general, the population is pretty nice, the community is great for the most part, you're gonna see a lot of helpful people. If you get kind of stuck in some of the dailies or anything, usually you request the server and someone gonna just jump in and help you to finish your dailies or get anything you really need to. The economy really flows, um, I don't really know numbers of people in the server right now. I will advise people starting to go to the PvP server. You can't really PvP everywhere and most players, if they just go killing people, they actually ban, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. Most people don't do it. Most people that actually used to, they got kicked out. So yeah, like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna have a video showing up how to achieve Master Class in an easy way without spending any money with a basic account just starting the game. But yeah, like I said, it's, it's, a, lo it's a game that I had a long-term love and hate relationship basically because every time they do a class balance or anything like that, um, it, it, it's just hard because, for example, Slayer class is really expensive. You have other classes, they're kind of the same way. And when they change something, it just feels that all the work you put in for a long time, it was just wasted. Um, the developers do a lot of times when they make some of those major changes. They give people some free stuff so they can change their weapons, weapon types, when, when they really mess up stuff like this. So, yeah, I, I mean, sure, Rapelzi, it is a pay to win if you want to be. But if you want to put the work, it's worth it. I almost forgot to say, one of the best things that I haven't seen in any other game uh, is a pet. So, not only pet classes can have pets, everybody can have pets. And pretty much you can tame 90% of the creatures 
in this world. So you can have any type of pets. Pets also help your stats. You can put belt pets. Um, you can do a lot of things and that just makes you more powerful. I will be creating some guides this month explaining how to do all that stuff. I do think you guys should try it. You don't really have to spend any money for the most part. Community is really nice. Guilds pop up all the time. And most people will request it to be probably level 150, 160 to join a guild. It's something you can do in one full day if you don't stop playing or in a couple of days. And like I said, for the most part, people are friendly. Uh, every time I spend a few months away from the game, when I came back, I made new friends. I saw old friends. You have people that have been playing the game like I did since the beginning. And they do the same thing. They leave the game and they come back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave me a like, let me know what you think about the game, let me know if you want to see anything, any questions you have, and I'll see you guys probably tomorrow, I hope you guys have a great day and a great week, thank you and take care.